Hello, this is Inkavik, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Lufia 2 Rise of the Sensuals for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System as I make my way to the town of Narcissus. Sis, 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 I can't pronounce that, but whatever, I am here. Narcissus, Narcissus. I'm going with Narcissus, folks. Destroyed the ships of. Destroyed all the ships in the city, huh? Ah, you. Oh, we have a witness. Let's bring this man to justice. Well, let's keep on moving along and talking to all these people. Yay, a small port city. Master and you, huh? Who is Massa? Ooh, eerie flute sound. What? Go where? Where are you going? Come back here! All these women are going. Even the little girl. Wait, come back here. No, not you. All signs point to the North Tower, which means more towers for our viewers. Yeah. There's a lot of towers in this game, viewers. Just letting you know. Yeah, it's fishy as hell. Yeah, Selen, why did you stay? Hmm, young single women, huh? We must save them! Go, Dika! Whoa, 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 men! Hold on your horses! Damn it, guy, you have a woman! Yes, Maxim, let's go! Alrighty, let's see our party! Lexus? Who is this Lexus? Tradul, you say? Yeah, old man, what was that flute sound? Maybe you're losing your mind! Or maybe not. Well, here's the end. 40 gold. Too expensive. When you think about it, the living expenses for RPG characters are, isn't that bad. 40 GP for a single night of room and rent, and you can kill a single monster and get thousands of gold? Ice ball. Yeah, I mean, according to this game, oh, here we get ourselves a couple of regains. I've already got myself 13. But let's get a few more. I just don't want my characters to die. Alrighty, and here's a shot. War rapiers, these are very useful for increasing our capsule monsters to a higher level. And I gave my. Ma I gave Maxim. A war rapier, even though I probably should have gotten him a longsword. But hey, the war rapier has a pretty awesome IP attack, so why not? Let's give the Tecto gloves. Ooh, a Rumi helmet. Why not? Yeah, just make our characters more powerful, why don't we? Play cap. Do I give that to Maxim? Yeah, why not? Decreases the attack power. Give that to God. Oh, I'm out of gold! Darn it, I wanted to give her a turban. Well, let's sell some of our stuff here. We have the Deadly Sword. That will sell for 50 gold. Scimitar. That will sell for quite a bit. A Thunder Axe. Ooh, Thunder Axe is such an awesome weapon, though. And the plated cough, I can't afford that. That's good, DK is pretty awesome, as he is! Ooh, I just sold my deadly sword, unfortunately, for you. Oh wait, no, I... Uh... Damn it, make up your mind! Feeding my capsule monster! Eat, eat, you're nothing but skin and bones! Ooh, I just gave him the witch ring. A little trigger happy there with my fading fuzzy there, folks. But hey, let's keep on moving along. Chugga 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 along to next area. Alright, so we have to, have to, have to head to the North Tower, I suppose. And we have a new battle against Stingers. Ow. Not so ow. Ow. 
So yep, Stinger's new enemies, bigger versions of bees, very fast. Does quite a bit of damage, but nothing we can't handle. So I guess speed is their game with these bee-like creatures, so yeah. They always attack faster than us, apparently, at this stage of the game. So yeah, just go all out, vanilla enemies, and boom. There we go. Alright, let's head to the next town, which is... Kaloon. Not many warriors. Let's see what's in the shop. Maybe I should have went here before. Oh, well, just a cutter whip, I suppose. What about armor? Darn it! Really should have checked that there was an extra area here. I should have got my equipment here rather than... Um, Narcissus. Because the equipment of this small, meager town is far superior than a poor town with free trade and whatnot. Uh, game. Never did understand the economics of RPG games. Better equipment in later areas, even though they're small towns. And here we have a magic shop. Maybe I should have went here first. Oh, look at these spells. Oh, we got the Mighty Absorb spell. Alright, once we have enough cash, we definitely want to get ourselves that. Five all. Mm -hmm. I might have to do some gold farming, folks, because I definitely want that almighty absorb. Absorb only costs one MP, but allows you to absorb the MP of enemy... Absorbs the MP of enemy characters. So if I glitched out there, there was a little error in my recording. Just fast forwarding, fast forwarding. Let's head to the next area. You kicked the door? That's why we can't proceed to the next town? Really game? This is your excuse. Wow, that is terrible. We have a new enemy, the torrent. No, you cannot torrent movies off this torrent. It is a tree. And as with all trees, it is weak to fire. But we won't use fire. Okay. Here we are at the Kaloon North Shrine. And we can't go anything because there is no trigger for the event to go there. Wasting your time, viewers. Well, let's... Ooh, we have a new enemy, the LaFleshia. As Blaze uses his burning bag to quickly dispose of one of them. Maxim. Yeah, so these are giant flowers, so let's just keep going all out. I really should heal Gal. Guy. Guile. He's not from Street Fighter, he's Guy. We should heal Guy sometime soon, I suppose. Well, I skipped that battle. That was just another bunch of turns. We'll heal up here at the end. I'm abusing the fast forward of my emulator. Skip that battle. That was another bunch of torrents. Yeah, so let me just change the order of my party because it just occurred to me that we have Guy and DK in the back row. And you don't want Guy and DK in the back row, viewers, because they're power. They are powerhouses. And we have a new enemy, the Draconians. Yeah, so let's take these guys on. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of editing this episode, because I have a lot of battles to edit out so far, and I haven't even reached this dungeon yet. But hey, it's not that difficult to edit out these battles. The only problem is keeping this in sync, which I've had a lot of syncing issues in the past, but as long as I don't screw it up and have a clear formula, then everything will work out perfectly fine. Fine. That's a little bit of my Australian accent coming out there, viewers. As I dispose of that Draconian, I will heal my DK with the all... I do not have an antidote spell. Antidote... Um... All the potion should be up here. Ah, there we go. Uh, no, yep. And here we go, heal DK. Alright, and we have some specters. These are undead creatures, we the healing magic, and final shadow is an attack that can wipe you out instantly, so watch out for this, viewers. And DK is dead. Great. This is why I pushed to regain, viewers. Regain will restore my characters from dead without wasting a miracle. Look at DK's past that buddy, the world's strongest man. As guy does nothing because the Gates Blade is, of course, a dark type elemental whatever. Go. Huh, 
when I think about it, maybe I should use Guy to use the regain to restore the HP because he can't attack. He should be a item healer. Fast forward. There we go. There's four maladies. And I really need to heal. Done. Alrighty, let's get my stronger. Boom, 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 boom. That took way too many. I should just use one stronger on each of them. Ooh, and here's one of my favorite enemies, Deep. I got a long sword dropped in that battle, but that was against a just bunch of draconians who are not one of my favorite enemies. They're just vanilla. But here is one of my favorite enemies, the Pugs. The reason why they're one of my favorite, they're weak to ice, and they drop the awesome flame fruit. They, I'm going to use them as level grinding and gold grinding for this dungeon. I don't need level grinding, but I'm actually probably underleveled where I should be because I beat Gaze at such an early level. I don't know whether I'm underleveled or overleveled. One of the two. Do not walk in front of that, viewers, because you'll be pushed down. And we skipped that battle. That took a lot longer than I expected, viewers. And we skipped that battle. Skip that battle. God, there's a lot of skipping battles in this episode. And here we have one of my favorite areas of the game to do level grinding. I always do this every time I play Leafy 2. In this room, I battled this pug. And... Okay, I skipped that battle, but the most important reason why I entered that room is to hit reset, so I can keep battling these guys. Okay, I am back after doing a whole bunch of gold slash level grinding. I'm here in Kaloon, and now I'm actually going to give my characters the proper weapons they should have been upgraded, instead of wasting my money like last time. As you can see, I have 119,000 gold. As a millionaire, so let's keep on upgrading my characters. Here we go. Yeah, give him the tall shield. Oh, yes, definitely the plate helmet. Yeah, give him that plate helmet. Oh, wait. Just notice we have a rock helmet there. I might have wasted my money again. Yep, definitely give that to DK. Tide Turban, definitely give that to Salan. Metal Mail, definitely give that to DK. And Iron Plate, definitely give that to Guy. Okay, we still have 67 gold, so there's still money to be spent. Let's head off to the magic shop. And we will finally get the all, all, all mighty absorb spell. There we go. Give that to Selen. And should we give that to Maxim? Maybe. Well, anyway, let's boost up all the magic. Fireball, Vortex, Blizzard. Already have Blizzard. Stronger, already have Stronger. Perish, don't get Perish. Useless, it's... You know, might as well give Awaken. Absorb. Yep, and now I'm out of gold. Well, I'm guessing I'm gonna head back to the... North Tower, was it? Well, anyway, I'll just feed... Ooh, War Rapier. Should keep that for later. Just keep feeding my Blaze. Uh, yep, and... Oh, I should've fed him the War Rapier, but it was pointless anyway. Feed him the War Rapier now. Now there's actually a very easy way to um, increase Blaze to the next level or next thing. As you can see, those pugs drop flame fruits. So yeah, I can get Blaze up pretty quickly. I can also purchase War Rapiers, which is the best way to actually get Blaze to evolve to the next stage. But very soon. Hmm. I am back here at. <laughs> Elsa to purchase a knife. I don't think this is gonna work, viewers. I really just press down to just purchase, not equip it. Cause he's he's hankering for a knife. I have a knife, but he's very a picky eater. Even if he wants to eat it, he realizes it's disgusting. But he wants a war rapier. If only I could purchase some war rapiers. Huh. Well, anyway, I'm gonna feed him a couple of these ones that he might like. He doesn't like roomy helmets. Plain helmet, would you like that? Yeah, he would. Okay, I got him up four. Let's spam him with flame fruits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we go. That's how we do it, viewers. Yeah. Now, I'm going to purchase some more war rapiers, but I haven't got enough cash for that. I'll probably do that after the next dungeon, but very soon. And I mean, very soon. Blaze will be a powerhouse. 
That was all for this episode of Let's Play Luffy 2 Rise of Essentials. I've been Inkovic, you've been a fan slice of heaven viewers.